And outside Africa now, more than 50 countries gather on the sidelines of a NATO meeting in Brussels to discuss bolstering Ukraine's air defense two days after Russian missiles rained on Kiev and other cities across the country. The gathering in Brussels is the first big NATO meeting since Russia and next four occupied Ukrainian regions began a partial mobilization and issued veiled nuclear threats, a move that Western alliance has classified as a clear escalation of the war that started with Moscow's invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February. And yet again, the malice and cruelty of Putin's war of choice, rooted in aggression and waged with deep contempt for the rules of war. Russia's latest barrage against Ukraine's cities has again killed and wounded innocent civilians and put targets with no military purpose in the crosshairs. But Russia's latest assaults have only deepened the determination of the Ukrainian people and further united countries of goodwill from every region on Earth. ...of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group. I would like to give a warm thank you. Our resolve to support Ukraine's defenders extends through all seasons. So this contact group stands united and determined. We will continue to boost Ukraine's defensive capabilities for today's urgent needs and for the long haul.